my wonderful friends it's me again the great great one more great countryman remember to like share and subscribe and click on another video well more on talk about this for a little bit police said them killed three wanted man and the three youth them was cousin and them said one of them was the most wanted in St. James and also in Jamaica. Now, it's kind of crazy because just like how them they kill the deportee guy, where them said them get a tip and then went down to the place. And when them went down to the place, the man them opened fire upon them and then them returned fire and man dead and them collect guns and that's it look at the statement in front of you it said the St. James police confirmed that the parish most wanted men and two of his crony has been fatally shot it said the men have been identified as Nesta Gilmore otherwise Carl Zado or Goody Javan Henry and Javan it's a Javan Henry and Javan Henry. I guess they make a mistake right there. So, but this is what we want to talk about. It's a report that 3 p.m. the police and military team acting on intelligence went to a house located on the border of Barrington and Spot Valley known as Compound in search of the wanted men. It's a upon approaching, they were fired on by our men who barricaded themselves inside the house, the police stated. Now, the police, they must say, that Yuta is a member of the Nine Camp Gang around the, the Barrett Town side in St. James. The police, they must say, they're responsible for about 10 murder. The police said that he was on the radar and then tell him to turn himself in because he wanted for a shooting and uh, some common law issues. Uh, he never turned himself in them, said they might come get him. And this young man is only 20 years old, you know. That youth I don't even know for fuck pussy yet. <laughs> but they might fire a gun and, and get caught up in the ass sort of thing. But regardless of the fuck, me feel like say, the police them to take a different approach because they must say boy the youth bloodthirsty I guess me don't know maybe something go down in the community because one thing with these places small community everybody know what's going on and from what I see the police them is saying is mixed up in scamming lottery scamming and, and a whole bunch of other things but it seems like these guys are broke and them not no money him a 20 year old him no experience life him no know nothing so to me that was an easy kill uh them could have captured the youth them and bring them go to prison and make them go do them bomb buckley time but i guess with jamaica and all the systems stay better if you get rid of them and it's just so sad it's really a sick, a sick, sick uh, place to be. Where is the evidence? All the police said, then get intelligence, them and the army went to this place in compound. The man them barricade themselves, shootout happened. When it over, the man them fatally shot and them find three guns. I'm saying, who documents these things and how can we know that this is the truth? Why the police don't have video camera or video camera upon them suit or whatever and why can't we see this as the public to say okay well it's justified. Now they call in Indicom and they're gonna black balls in the com. All these murders in the Congo and there nothing happened. Look at the statement in front of you. It said, uh, after gunfire, Gilmore and two of his henchmen were suffering from gunshot wound. Them go to the hospital, them dead. It said uh, the police find three illegal firearms was taken from the men. 
Now, this is what the uh, security force, this is what the counselor said. I must commend the security force for over the manner in which they handled the situation. And this is Anthony Murray, the counselor. It says, we have been seeing that there is a spike in murder in my division over the past week. And I'm very happy that the police have gotten rid of some of the men committing the crime in the area. Especially the most wanted men and now persons and residents can feel safe in their space. Now, what is the counselor saying? He's saying that by getting rid of these men, crime is going to stop in the neighborhood. And pretty much, I guess they knew who was doing all the things, but that's how Jamaica is. Everybody knows everything. So these guys they pick at, is just a small fries. Is the man them going to have no money, they knew to look like a broke badness. And they might fuck around. And I then become the scapegoat. And then the police and these uh, talking heads come out with these kind of statements all the time. And it really bothered me. Now, I bet you if you talk to them, you to a family member, you have a year, a whole total different story. Now, you remember the beryllium robbery in St. Thomas? Or the, the, the man then go for the beryllium truck. And how much man come out with them, tall up, tall up. Them have a shootout with the police then. I end up get way, you know. And me, I say, if if me was a bad man, and if me a bad at Jamaica, I pay tall up, tall up, me want. And me now go have one, little one, two, and gun, and say, police come. And I take on police. It just doesn't make sense. It seems like you, them, chew over the gun, or whatever, and I beg the police them for not kill them. But once them police and soldier they go, I kill them and come for kill you. Because, like me say, Jamaican police, you know, is well trained. Very well trained to deal with small spaces, deal with uh, severe violence. Uh, them have shoot out throughout the Caribbean, them, them have shoot out more regular than most other Caribbean countries police so them well trained now it wouldn't make sense to me if you know say yo the police come at my door and me have a little one gun and then me I go do a shootout no me I fling that out and say listen me I give up myself because me know me can't take them on now if me have a bridge in them there I will know say yo the pussy them I come your best believe say we have a booby trap the thing and we are gonna put get with all and we are gonna take out a couple of them bumbo clad. That is if me was a bad man. And a bad, me I go hard. You understand? And when me say go hard, me I go hard. So I pay a big thing. So it just doesn't make sense for these young youth uh trying to attack the police and then the police say yo it's a shootout and Next thing you know, you, them dead, this, that, whatever. We just need more clarity as we move forward in Jamaica with stuff like this. And that's all I'm saying with this video. It just bothers me and it just doesn't make sense. Yo, I don't feel when them kill off the youth, them like this, it's going to solve crime and it's going to make the space safer unless the government back it up with other plans economic plans and education and stuff like that and that's just the way i feel that's my commentary on this yo my name is countryman remember to like share subscribe and click on another video but my after about this me not like it